Hey, Brian, it's Jeff in here. I just wanted to do a little video to maybe help with some of the confusion. Um, so when we take a look at contours um, and doing watersheds, we usually stop start at the bottom of this height of land. One of the first things I do just to give myself markers is I create an icon that will be my, what is the, uh, the high points? What are the, the tops? And so I, I tend to use a little triangle. So I'm just gonna put that little triangle there. I tend to turn it red, uh, just so I'm very, very familiar with it. <coughs> and then I'm just gonna put this up here and these are all a little wonky. So I'm gonna do this and then copy one of these bad boys and then put that there and put this up and then high points on the landscape. Great, now I'm gonna copy my icon, copy and paste, and give myself a few to use. And now I'm gonna go through and again on that, um, on, that, uh, on that video, I talk about how we have no idea what's above here, but we can interpolate, we can guess because of the way that these slopes come up, it probably has a little arc up here. So I'm gonna put one there, I'm gonna put one there, I'm gonna put one here, I'm gonna put one here, and one more here, and one last one here. So that gives me the height of lands of where this water boundary has to go through. And what I used is I used the poly tool, polyline tool, and so I start on that and then I start at the bottom and I just work my way up the contours, up the slopes, come up to the top, the height of the land, come back down. And in the saddles, we split the difference. Uh, so we kind of come along here and then back up. Again, we're, we're, we're being roughly right here. Again, water flows at right angle to contours. So doing it again, splitting the difference down here, come back up. And then here, if I look at this long enough, I'll probably figure it out, but probably some place in this area. Back up to the height of land. Now coming down again, we're looking at going at right angles to contour, right angles to contour. So you could do it at every single contour line. And that's and then once I connect it, it's all the same. Now I already did this, but um, I'll go through it with you. So once this is selected, we can go up to line weight. I think the line weight is three. We can go up to the line style and do that checkered pattern that you have here. Uh, then we can hit the color. Oh, wrong color. That's the fill. Uh, we want the line color. Yep. And then the fill color, uh, go to custom. And then we're going to go over to blue. Then we're going to put about half transparency on it. About half there. And I'm going to make sure it's blue. Great. And that should give us our transparency. Now, <clears throat> I kind of like the flow lines and the site to be above this. So I'm going to right click, order, send backwards. You have to do this once or twice. Uh, send backwards. Sometimes you have to do it the other way. So sometimes you have to take this off, click on this, right click, order, bring to front, and then grab these and then put them back where they're supposed to be. There we go. Awesome. So if if that straight line tool isn't working for you, the polyline tool is a good one and can really be quite articulate. Hope that helps.